meet the Nobel Prize. What is the Nobel Prize? Annual international awards by Swedish and Norwegian institutions in recognition of academic, cultural or scientific advances. Awarded for contributions for humanity in chemistry, literature, physics, medicine and economic sciences. In this video, I would like to introduce one of the Nobel Prize's winner. Oliver Simon Darcy Hart, born October 9, 1948, is a British-born American economist, currently the Andrew E. Fuhrer Professor of Economics at Harvard University. Together with Bengta Holmstrom, he received the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences. Do you know? Oliver Hart expert in 1. Contract Theory 2. Theory of the Firm 3. Corporate Finance 4. Law and Economics Contract Theory Actors can and do contract contractual arrangements, asymmetric information, connections, both agency and incentives, covering many topics from CEO pay to privatizations. Theory of the firm. Explain and predict the nature of the firm, company, or corporation including its existence, behavior, structure, and relationship to the market. Corporate Finance The main concepts in the study of corporate finance are applicable to the financial problems of all kinds of firms. To maximize or increase shareholder value. Law and Economics Is the application of economic theory, specifically microeconomic theory. Used to explain the effects of laws, to assess which legal rules are economically efficient, and to predict which legal rules will be promulgated. Let's focus more about contract theory. What is contract theory and why it deserved a Nobel Prize? It studies the design of formal and informal agreements that motivate people with conflicting interests to take naturally beneficial actions. From theory to real world application. Negotiating phase between two parties, until one side accepts there can be a series of offer and counter offers, and there is no contract. However, at the very base of the negotiating is something value that the parties desire of each other, this is consideration. Without consideration no contract. I have merely highlighted a few of Hart's fundamental contributions to contract theory. As such, we owe a great debt to Hart for giving us powerful tools to structure effective contracts. Thank you for watching. If you like our video please give a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.